Hey everyone, welcome to new Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila and today I'll show you how to use an app called Avacode. Now Avacode is developed by a company called Source and you might have heard about them before if you've used a CSS hat. Now if you go to avacode.com you can get a free two-week trial of the application and also learn more about its features. With Avacode you can inspect Photoshop and sketch files and get really fast access to images, colors, uh, fonts, and even dimensions. And the cool thing is you also get generated CSS for any kind of element, either it's text, button, it doesn't matter. And apart from regular CSS, you can also get SAS, less or stylus. So you have a bunch of different options. This is a perfect app for bridging the gap between developers and designers. Now I did say inspect, not edit. This is very important. Avocode is not an image editor. You create and edit your files in Photoshop or Sketch and then you open them in Avocode for inspection. So let's see how this works. Before you do anything in Avocode you need to create an account. So either you get a free trial or you simply buy the app. This is mandatory. So in the main website you go to login and then to sign up, you create your account here and then you simply log in. Now Avocode works with projects. So let's create a new project, let's call it Tuts Plus. And the next thing we have to do is to upload our design files. Now for this you have multiple options. You can choose the file here and it's gonna open a standard uh, upload dialog. You can use Dropbox or you can simply drag and drop files. But the drag and drop functionality does only work for Photoshop files. So if I drop a sketch file, it's gonna tell you that sketch design upload is not supported yet. For that though, you can download the sketch extension and the extension is actually available for Photoshop as well. So let's click this. You have the option to get it for Photoshop and sketch. So you can get this and then inside sketch, when you open your design, you're gonna have a plugin called Sync to Avocode. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna give you a window here, Sync to Avocode. Let's uh, click that button. And one thing you should know is that the bigger the document, the longer it's gonna take, especially if you have lots of uh, artboards. Once that's complete, you're gonna get this message. You can close the window and back into the browser, you can see the newly added files and you get a preview and also you can check out the different pages inside your document. Now this design you see here is actually a landing page design that I made for an upcoming Tuts Plus course and I'll be using it today to show you how Avocode works. Now once you inspect these you have the ability to add them to a project and you can choose the project from a drop down here. You can also create a new project. So let's select Tuts Plus, save, and now that has been added. So let's go back to the project and we can see we have two designs here basically. And that's how you use the Avocode Manager to upload the files. Now if we take a look at the UI here we can see that we have a breadcrumb-like structure and this will help you navigate. For example, you can go back to your projects here, you can hover on this, you can find out how many designs you have, how many members. You also have the option to rename a project or delete it. And then you can search for a specific project like maybe Tuts Plus and it will give me the results for that. And then if we go back inside, we have the option to delete certain designs to edit them or to simply view their details. So if we click this little icon, it's going to take us back here. Up here you can find some project settings, also options to delete a project. And here you have the ability to see who's invited to a project and add new people to a project. But we won't be focusing on this too much because this tutorial is all about how to use Avocode to inspect designs. Now once you create a project and upload some designs, you can use the desktop application to inspect them. So let's do that right now. The desktop application looks something like this. A very simple UI with a tab bar on the top, 
two main tabs right here one for projects one for getting started which will show you will basically give you a very quick tour of the application and you can browse through the various chapters here now the main tab you'll be focusing on and you'll be working on most of the time is the projects tab and this will show you a list of all the projects in the form of a thumbnail a project title and then an indicator for activity on each project you have the ability to set specific settings regarding export path and path prefix for images we'll get to that in a bit now if you've recently uploaded a design and it doesn't show up here you can click this little refresh button and it will update let's go into this project and see what it's all about now when I double click this it will take me to a new screen which will show me all of my available designs and inside sketch these are represented by pages so I have two pages assets and lead generation page and they show up like this so if we check out assets it will take me to yet another screen which will show me that page now let's go back in sketch and we can see that in the assets page we have two artboards one for typography one for colors and these are represented right here in the left panel and you can hide them like this or you can double click them to enter that artboard if you do that you'll get the full list of groups and layers as represented here so I can expand I can collapse see all my layers I can even select them from here that's pretty cool now on the bottom we have the four main tools of Avacode the first one is the select tool or V on the keyboard so basically with this you can select various layers or multiple layers the next one is the measure tool or R now with the measure tool you can select a layer and then you can hover on other layers to find out their position relative to the currently selected layer so selected are these layers right here but I can select individual ones like say for example this uh, button here and I want to see just how far it is from the button above it well with it selected I can simply hover on the button above it and it will give me the 24 pixel gap same goes for below or if I want to see its position in the page I can simply hover on a blank space here and it's going to give me the position from top left bottom and right very cool the next one is the color picker or I it's this one right here and basically you get a color picker you click where the little plus sign is and it's going to automatically copy that color in hex to your clipboard now notice when I copy the color it automatically created this uh, swatch here on the bottom and I can hover on it I can copy it to the clipboard once again or add it as a variable more about that a bit later or I can clear all of them so I can quickly create a color scheme I can click here I can maybe click here and then here so as you can see three colors already at my disposal very cool now the final tool is called the hand tool and you can press H to activate it and basically it will allow you to click and drag the document so you can see various parts of it now this is a permanent tool in the sense that you don't have to keep anything pressed in order to use it but let's say for example you're in select mode you press V and you have the select tool active and then you want to move to a specific part of the design well you can simply hold a uh, press and hold space you will temporarily select the hand tool and then you can just move around the document and when you stop pressing space it will revert back to the original tool well, let's do that again with the color picker so let's say I'm picking uh, this color right here yeah I clicked on that I click on space I move around I select another color like that and I'm done so that's how you use the four tools now if you're in select mode and you have a layer selected you can unselect it by hitting escape also when working with layers you can use a very helpful shortcut which is alt plus left mouse click so let's say you're all the way up here 
and you want to see a layer that's further down and you can easily find it in the layer panel here so what you can do is alt and left click one of these layers and Avacode will automatically scroll to that section showing you the layer so if we want we can go back here or if we want to see a button we can go down here and we can see the button really really fast on the right side we have an inspector that will actually change its content depending on what item is selected so for example when nothing is selected it shows information about the background like its size css code for it you can see that it gives me width height background color and also export options and variables if i select something else we have the same sections but the options do change a little bit for example i have an option to copy the text here on the heading on the bottom we have zoom controls we can zoom in zoom out we can do the same thing using command plus and minus and if we're zoomed in and we want to go back to 100 percent all we got to do is press command one or simply click this button now another cool feature of Avacode is the use of guides and you can access guides and a ruler using this little button here or command R so if I hit this I'm going to get a ruler and then I can click on this ruler here and I can drag guides I can do the same with the ruler on the left side so using this uh, green handle here you can drag the guide anywhere you want same goes for this one and you can hide them by hitting command r again but there is one thing about guides that i would like to tell you because avocodes support both user created guides as well as design guides which are already made in either sketch or photoshop so if you have uh, guides in your sketch document like let's say for example this one this will show up in Avocode as well so it's really up to you if you use them directly here or inside Avocode but let's hide this for now and see what the app can really do and for that I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this as well and open my main page here so let's say you are a developer and you receive this file from a designer and you got to take it convert it into html and css so what do you do well first thing uh, most people do is get all of the images like this one for example so let's enter to see all of our layers and then we can click on the image we can see its exact dimensions here we can even get the css for it or we can export it so let's choose to export it to do that simply hit command s and it's going to show you a dialog for export you can give it a name for example phone you can choose a format from png jpeg or svg even which is very very nice and a size 100 percent 50 percent or 25 percent so let's go with 1x here and hit export it will ask you for an export path in my case it's the folder where i have the sketch document as well so i'm going to select that and it says one image was exported so if we open that folder we can see we have the sketch file and phone png which was just exported that was really really quick now what if you need multiple sizes well here you have already added a rule 1x png but you can get new rules for example let's say i want 1x jpeg I hit export now and I have two files now one PNG one JPEG and notice the PNG is now at half size so let's say I want one more I want an SVG at 1x well I do that I hit export it's going to ask me if uh, I want to replace existing files yes and now I have even more documents I have the SVG here I have the JPEG I have the 50% PNG and original PNG so as you can see exporting is really really quick now this was a single image but what if we want to export multiple images using the same rules let's say for example the logo and this line right there so now we have two layers selected and we can create 
an export rule for them separately. So it tells us how many images will be exported, at what size, and at which file format. And then let's say maybe we also want JPEG versions of those. So we add another rule separately again, and let's say we want full-size JPEGs. And now simply export. There are five, uh, four images exported, one JPEG, one PNG, and the same goes for the line. So this is a real time saver when you have to export images from a design document. If you don't want a rule anymore, you can simply hit this little X sign. Now you can also do this much easier using the context menu. So let's say I have this icon here that I wanna export as an image. So what I can do is I can select it and right click on it and it's gonna give me options. Save as PNG, JPEG or Base64 which is used for SVGs. So I can save it as a PNG. It will open the exact same dialog as Command S. I can do it also from here, for directly from the layer panel. Save as PNG and let's call it Focus PNG. And now it's exported. That's really, really cool. Now, depending on what layer is selected, you will get different options in the context menu. For example, if I select a text layer, I'll get the same options as Save as PNG JPEG Base64, but also I have the option of copying the text or copy as H1, H2, paragraph strong, and so on. We'll talk about those in just a little bit. So if I want this text as an image, all I gotta do is save as PNG. It will suggest a file name based on the contents of the layer, and then just export, and I have a brand new image.